Today is like the dream, so we, we got the dream today, <laughs> so it's very important. <laughs> An event like this, it doesn't happen all the time, so... No, just, uh, I know just once a year, and uh, um, it needs to be uh, like the weather temperature needs to be around the 27 degree, the moon needs to be in a, in a perfect way, so it's everything needs to matching, and uh, it's, it's, it's a very lucky day, because everything is matching today, <laughs> so wow. <laughs> Just because they very amazing, I yeah, I love it. <laughs> and I love diving. Yeah, it's definitely one of a kind. It's definitely worth coming out and seeing it. That's for sure. Yeah, it's something different, especially just a scuba dive or snorkel or whatever at night. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, but some corals are spawning, not all, but some of them are real spawning. And if you if you put the light, you can see all the stuff coming from the corals. Very big, big stuff like that. <laughs> big ball. Congratulations, corals. <laughs> Dive out. What did you see? Everything, uh, coral spawning everywhere, all different types. Uh, some loads of fish again, but the best part was yeah, the coral spawning, the different um, the boulders just looked like they were on fire, and then the uh, pink ribbon ones. It was just streams of um, streams of coral spawn coming off, and then you had the hard coral that was looked like they were um, had little, releasing little orange pellets. It was awesome. So we got to see the coral spawning, which is sort of the annual event where all the eggs and sperm are released up into the water, and it's, in a, it's an amazing sight. It's like an underwater snowstorm, but backwards, going up. It's really weird. It's awesome, yeah. Um, and is it happening? Like, is, you know, is this the best you've seen, or is it...? Yeah, it's, oh, it's a beautiful season this, this year. The water's clear, it's warm, and it's really nice and calm. So as the eggs are released out of the coral, they're just drifting up nice and slowly, uh, up vertically. Some years you can get big um, you know, swells coming through, it washes the eggs around, but uh, tonight's beautiful release of the eggs. It looks stunning. And a lot of people have seen this before, you know, what has to happen for this to, you know, for it to happen? Uh, a lot of things have to align. It's the um, temperature of the water uh, and then the corals uh, to fine tune the exact night they go off. They actually use the blue light that's reflected off the full moon. So it's on the nights after the full moon, you have different species of corals going on different nights. And so tonight we had a lot of the branching and the staghorn corals going. But also we had the, the biggest uh, corals in the reef, the parietes. Uh, it looks like smoke when they release the egg and sperm into water. So you've got these massive boulders, you know, the size of a car, that is just releasing the smoke into the water. And it looks amazing. We live here, you know, but how special is it? Oh, I've been filming coral spawning for 20 years and every year it's just as good. Is this year's good. This year's really good. How did you make this the whole experience? 
Uh, well, it's a unique thing to see something that's an annual event, only lasts for a couple of days. Um, so to be in the right place at the right time is a great thing. And, you know, people can come out on the tourist boats uh, during the coral sporting season and get to see what is literally the greatest sex show on earth. That was amazing. I love diving at night because there's so many different creatures that you can see that you won't usually see during the day. So it's like this amazing moonscape. And um, there's lots of corals starting to spawn. So it's this like synchronized um, orgasm, really. I love it. It's fabulous. It's like this um, fairy dust kind of going up in the water. It's amazing. It's, I feel incredibly lucky to actually see that because a lot of people have never seen it before. So. That was amazing. A lot of people have never been snorkeling before and so for them to go out there and to witness this phenomenal event is, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So if that then gives them some connection with the marine environment, then they'll want to look after it. They'll want to find out more about it and they want to really consider their actions on land and the impacts that it has on these marine environments. So it's a win-win. It's, yeah, it's an incredible, an incredible opportunity to see nature at its finest, I think.